Time for that look back we've been promising for a couple of weeks. The story produced all the way back in 2001, women in poultry, and the impact women from MSU's poultry science department have had on the industry. We begin with the original intro of the story by former Farm Week anchor, Artis Ford. The nation's poultry industry employs many people, especially here in Mississippi. We're fifth in the nation in poultry and egg production. Many of those jobs are filled by men. It's ironic considering women are credited with starting commercial poultry production in the United States. In recent years, however, more women are entering the professional and executive ranks of the poultry industry. Things are really opening up for females in poultry science. There have been uh, quite a few that have graduated since I was there, and there were several before me, and we are all doing really well. And you have to be willing to get out there and figure out what you want to do and stay there and you have to pay your dues and tough it out but it's worth it and I, th I think it's a good career choice for a woman right now. Wren Laster McDonald is the director of food safety for the world's largest egg producer, Calmaine Foods of Jackson, Mississippi. She is one of a growing number of women working in professional and executive roles in the nation's poultry industry. Dr. Wallace Morgan is the head of the poultry science department at Mississippi State University he says 21% of his bachelor degree candidates are women. Morgan says the opportunities are there for women and men in the poultry industry and its allied businesses. In my history here since 1980, and I, I'm sure it goes back before that, we've never had a student graduate that did not have a job offer, never. And most of the times there will be numerous offers. The 100% job placement rate for graduates was a big factor in McDonald choosing a poultry science degree at MSU. The Mississippi native also earned a master's degree in food science. McDonald makes sure Calmaine's 23 nationwide locations package eggs that are safe and produced according to federal and state laws, not to mention customer specifications. Especially here with Calmaine, there's a very strong commitment to feed safety and the upper management relays that to our people who are out in the field and things like that. So actually it makes my job a lot easier. Plus, um, you, know, you just have to try to get along with people and just try to make them understand that all the documentation and all the paperwork we do, it protects me, it protects them, it protects our company as a whole. And, and once you try to get that across to them, it, it helps them understand a little bit more as to why we have to do what we have to do. Peace size consistency. Making sure that Judy all Harrison grew up on a poultry farm before graduating in 1989 with a degree in poultry science from MSU. The Mize, Mississippi native worked with two poultry processors before coming to the KFC Corporation in 1992. I'm a quality assurance scientist and we work with all the fresh poultry suppliers. We have uh, specs and QA programs for all our products and we work with the suppliers to make sure that they're providing the restaurants with the products they're, they're supposed to be getting. Harrison works out of KFC's world headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. She coordinates quality assurance work. This includes inspecting and working with processing plants to ensure the poultry meets KFC requirements. For example, the chickens are delivered already cut to KFC restaurants. These pieces must meet size specifications. The bone-in pieces must be fresh, not frozen. So we get chickens in that where the cut's just not right. And, uh, and we don't think the freshness is there and we don't think the quality is there. We, we don't have any problem calling them up and letting them know we need some help on this. Uh, my job entails quite a bit of travel, which I enjoy that. But uh, meeting people and seeing places, and uh, it's just interesting to me as to what all the product goes through because uh, even spending years on a chicken farm, it's amazing what the product goes through at the plant level. and and uh, people buying even products from a grocery store have no idea what all that product went through and what the people that, that were behind that product were involved with and, and getting it to them in, in the way that it did. Karen Cooper of Hattiesburg, Mississippi is getting her degree in poultry science at MSU. She intends to become a veterinarian specializing in poultry. You can get a job with like Tyson, Sanderson, somebody like that. You'll be the company veterinarian. You'll fly to their different locations um, and check out the different farms and make sure all the vaccinations. You do a lot of chicken, you know, for vaccinations on chickens. If you have any problems, like all of a sudden you might have a bad disease break out, you've got to figure out and, you know, fix that. You have to plan ahead for that disease again, you know, in the future. 
Wallace Morgan says the work of poultry science graduates is not limited strictly to chickens. We have some real good scientists in the department if they're interested in, in the science aspect of it, from physiology, nutrition, food science, wherever it may be. We're intertwined with those graduate programs. We've had uh, companies at, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia at the annual trade show for the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. It's a huge trade show. They interview college graduates from all over the United States and I guess Canada too for that matter if they wanted to come there. And we have had companies come and designate a day to talk to our students. Uh, our students are the most highly recruited there, I, I can say that and feel comfortable. I mean, Rossburg, your EVs? Yeah. That's Ren McDonald wrote the Food Safety and Quality Assurance Program, which covers all CalMaine's egg operations. McDonald says her job is just one example of the possible careers in poultry science. You know, I can think of lots of different things that even just people that I graduated with are doing now. The food safety area is, is a very good area to be in right now. But then there are also live production people. There are people that work in the processing plants. There are um, broiler breeder companies that are hiring people that, that are coming out of poultry science departments across the country and there's just numerous things that you can do with a degree in poultry science. So it gives you a little bit of room to get out there and find your niche and, and figure out what you really want to do. And Leighton, I might add, when I was doing the story, and, and I didn't ask people this, but it just came up. They talked about with it being a smaller department here on campus, that a more of a family atmosphere, that um, it's... Yeah, you got the feeling, you know, everyone knows everyone. Everyone Everybody knows cares everyone, and two, the students get individual attention. It's hard to be anonymous. Mm -hmm. I know some students like to be anonymous, mm -hmm. but uh, they did mention that the atmosphere, that, uh, that they felt like somebody cared, and that helped them to uh, learn even more. And always fun to look back. 23 years in the blink of an eye.